The main purpose of a phone is to be able to place a call or send a text message. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to send an SMS message or a short message service. If you haven't already, I recommend that you check out my tutorial on how to send, uh, make phone calls because this is going to be very similar. But we're going to start by going over to Android Manifest and over here, we're going to request permission for sending messages by saying, uh, if you just type in SMS, you should be able to see here, send SMS. Now we're going to go to mainactivate.java to send the actual SMS message when the button is pressed. There are two main ways to do this. One is through the SMS manager API and the other is through a built-in SMS application. So we're going to go ahead with the SMS uh, manager API first. But in order to do that, what we're going to do is when our button is pressed first, we're going to check whether the permission has even been granted by saying if activity compat dot, um, that checks out permission, get application context manifest dot permission dot send SMS. Um, send a message S is not equal to package manager dot permission granted. So if it's not been granted, then we're going to want to request the permission by saying activity compat dot request permission main activity dot this uh, new string and inside we're going to provide our permission manifest dot permission dot send sms and finally we're going to provide a request code which can be zero something random otherwise if the permission has been requested it's good to go ahead and send the message so we're going to say sms manager sms manager equals new sms uh, i mean equals sms manager oops sms manager dot get default and finally in our second line of code we're going to say send text message and uh, you can uh, two of the parameters are to be filled that's the destination address and the text the rest of the stuff can be null because that's not necessary so uh, the phone number we're going to send it to is a random phone number and for the text message uh, for uh, this can be null and for the text message i'm going to say something like subscribe to ig apps finally the remaining two parameters can be null and now if i run this code it should send a text message so we have the app over here and when i click on this card view it is asking whether I want to allow the app to send and view SMS messages. So if I click allow, it will go over to the messages app. Then we can see that I just sent a message to that phone number. Now I'm going to show you the second approach, which is using um, an intent, just like we did with the phone call. So over here in my else statement, I'm going to delete this code and replace it with an intent. Send intent equals new intent. Inside for my um, constructor, I'm going to say intent action view. That way, the user can view the actual process of that mess message being sent. My second parameter is going to be um, a URI, and I'm going to say SMS, and then try the phone number. So it's going to be a random one. Then I'm going to say a send intent dot put extra, and this is where I'm going to enter the message that I want to send ahead of time. Finally, I'm going to say start activity and then pass in my intent that I just created. Now I will run this code on my app. It's just launched and when I click on this uh, card view button, you can see it takes me to this phone number. And it's the message is already typed because I specified it over here in SMS body. That's the message I want to display. And the phone number is already specified as well. That's all for this short bit segment on how to send SMS messages in your Android app. Make sure to subscribe and share the channel with friends.